This video will be short, and it's kind of mass light, but I think it's important to talk about. Um, in chapter six, you had to take a variety of integrals. And some of those were easy and some of them were tricky, but you were aided by the kind of meta knowledge that the only integration technique we'd learned up to that point was U substitution. So if you were going to use any sort of integration technique, it had to be a U substitution because you hadn't learned any others. That of course is no longer true you know U substitution. You have now learned integrals involving the inverse trig functions. And in this section, we have introduced integration by parts. That means that going forward, you have to apply some thought about which technique to use when you see a complicated integral. Consider the following two examples. The integral of x times the sine of x dx and the integral of x times the sine of x squared dx. These integrals may look similar, but they require entirely different techniques to actually compute to them. What we have here is a classic example of integration by parts. What we have here is composition, and the derivative of this inside function minus a constant appears over here. In other words, this is U substitution. And Therefore, some trial and error is now to be expected. You see an integral, you try using parts, but actually it's a U substitution problem. Or you see an integral, you try using U substitution, but actually it's a part problem. This problem, or this issue, I guess I should say, is only going to get worse as we learn more techniques. You see an integral, you try using trigonometric substitution, Actually, it's a U substitution problem. You try using partial fractions. Actually, it's something else. So to be successful with these problems, you need to be willing to experiment. And, and this is key, you need to be willing to admit that what you're trying isn't working 
get rid of your failed effort and try from scratch using something else. And this is something that students really struggle with. Like it's a test, you're under time pressure, you see that what you're doing isn't working, but you don't want to start over. And I certainly do sympathize with that but you have to be willing to start over. I mean, if an integration technique isn't working, it's not going to start working just because you bashed your head against it for long enough. So that's a comment I wanted to make. From this point forward, integration is going to involve experimentation. You're going to make false starts. You just have to accept that.